And now what we want to do is get out the finger pieces. Now, like the instructions I had originally showed, you want to start with the center link piece. So how these finger pieces go is they, they lay out about like this. So they go kind of like that. So what we'll do is we'll look at the part, again, looking for the clean side versus the non-clean side. It'll take a little getting used to. It's not super critical, it just makes the part look a little nicer and go together a little cleaner. So on this part, this is the clean side. So that tells me that this is the outside, so I'm gonna set that part there. So that means that this part is a mirrored over here. Um, that is the clean side. Now, you may find that there's a little bit of a nub left in some of these holes, or the possibly even the large hole. That just is because they didn't get popped out during cutting. So what you can do is you can just take like a little screwdriver and just kind of give it a push. And it'll pop that little piece right out. Just didn't fall out from the laser cutter. So I'm going to set those pieces here. Looking for the clean side versus the not so clean side. I'd call that good like this. And So basically I'm laying these parts with the unclean side facing up. Okay. So, to start assembling, we're going to start with this middle piece. What we're going to do is take this middle piece, and then we're going to take our longer, we have three longer 5 8 binding posts, and we just simply insert those binding posts from the back side. And sometimes they're a little tight, just wiggle them in there, from the back side in. So that gives us those two binding posts inserted. Now, we can place the next two sections over top of those binding posts. So you can see we're starting to build the finger there. Okay, now, here is where we will lay in our linkages. So, our first linkage here we'll put the tip linkage in first. Now if you look at the linkage you'll notice one side has got a, 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 a long curve and one side's got a short curve. That short curve goes to the bottom side of the finger so it tucks under there. So you're going to basically just set these in these little holes that you can see where that link goes and snick that in there. So now you've created that little link. Now we'll take our rear section. Now with the rear one uh, the big, the curved end goes up. Now, one thing I want to tell you before we put this in here, we're going to actually go ahead and remove this rear pin. Now the reason I had you put the rear pin in first is because putting it in the first time is the most difficult and once you put it in once, the next few times it goes in a little easier and it's a little tough to put the pin in when you're trying to hold the whole thing with your finger together. So we're going to pull this rear pin out and set it aside. It needs to be out of the system in order to put the finger together later. So that leaves us with just the upper pin. So that upper pin goes through the slot and keys into the outside finger piece. It's going to key right into that hole. Now it might be a little tight, just kind of push it in there. Once the finger's all assembled and we kind of work everything, I, I made the holes a little bit tight so that it would fit and kind of work into place and, and maintain a tight mechanism versus being sloppy, they start sloppy, they just get sloppier. So a little bit tight, I figured would the, the, it would help the mechanism break in. Okay, now you're going to find that you have one 5 8 binding post left and one 3 8 Now the 3 8 binding post is used for the fingertip. So we'll go ahead and slide that one in the fingertip. Then we'll go ahead and take this little finger center ring and slide it over there. And that's basically one side of the finger assembled. So what we can do there is we can now finish building the parts. So we take, it'll be these two parts next. And you just kind of slide it on there. Make sure your pins go through the holes. Take your tip of your finger, slide it on here. Make everything snaps together nicely. Then you'll take this last finger part. Oops and slide it on there. Again, making sure that everything lines up correctly. Again, might be a little tight on that hole at first, just kind of push it on there. Get it. Here's where you may have to adjust some of your lengths on those little 
rods, I mean the little pins in there because they may be rubbing. Just kind of work them a little bit. You can, you can do a lot of this later. Do a little bit of it now. You'll get the feel of it. Just kind of work it around. The pin may be a little bit longer than the parts. So you'll want it to stick out a little bit on both sides, but that's okay. So, once we've got those sides on, we can then simply take... Now, the rest of our binding post screws are all going to be the same length. So it's not critical which one goes where. So we just take these posts and we screw them in. Just kind of screw them down tight. What I'm doing is I'm pushing my finger against the back side of the binding post as I screw the screw in. Okay, so that gives us a finger, and you can actually go ahead and move that portion of the finger mechanism. And you'll notice that when you first grab it, it'll feel a little stiff, but after you move it a few times, everything kind of breaks in, and it should become a fairly smooth motion. Now, I'm noticing huh, I forgot to put in my little Delrin ball, but that can easily be slid in now because the part, the finger is still fairly flexible. So we'll take it. Put one side in and we'll open it up and kind of squeeze the other side in here. There we go. Okay. So, one thing that I'm noticing that I do this all the time is we forgot to put the link. I forgot to put the link on the ball, so we need to get the ball back out one more time so that we can snap a link on it. Sorry guys, I'm going to do this in one take, so it's not worth starting over. It's good to make a note because it keeps people from, uh, from doing the same thing. So, since we're going to put this link in, we'll go ahead and build the link. So what we'll do is you'll have these two black ball links, a small little piece of all thread, and then your Delrin ball. So what you can do is you just start by taking the all thread and screwing it, just start screwing it into one of the link ends. Now, be careful, this all thread is pretty small stuff. If you squeeze it between your fingers strong enough, you can actually bend it by pushing it against a little too much. So I kind of get it started on one end a little bit, and then I'll put the other end in and I'll get it started, and then I'll use the two ends to kind of crank it together. Um, it's not super critical. You may get one side a little deeper than other. We go in pretty deep on both sides, so you'll have plenty of, of, of thread in there. And what you want to do is the overall distance of this link, if you have a little ruler, you want it to be about 50 millimeters. So if you measure from the outside of this ring to the outside of this ring, you want it to be right around 50 millimeters or a sixteenth under two inches. Nah, either one of those will work. I millimeter came out a cleaner number, so I'm calling it millimeter. So we got a little ways longer to go, so we screw this in a little further. Lay it on here a little bit more. And this is just a general starting setting. You'll we'll be able to tune this a little later to kind of set where the finger goes, depending on the servo you're using and how the servo is is acting. Oh, a couple more turns. All right. So that sets that at about 50 millimeters. So once that's set, we can then take, if you look at the little links, there's one side looks a little larger than the other. That ball tends to go in a little easier from that side. So we'll take the little link ball, doesn't matter which end you put it in right now, and we'll just press it inside. Oops, look at that. Try that again kind of press it inside the rod end. Now we'll go ahead and recenter our pin best we can. Okay. 
And now this whole link piece can be inserted back into our finger. So we just kind of slide it on one side and then kind of pry the finger open a little bit and slide it in the other side. So there you go, that's our driving link that runs the finger. Again, finger still moves like nicely.